start this recording, conference please. will now be recorded. Okay, thank you, Simi. Uh, so for everybody's uh, information, uh, tonight's meeting, uh, we are, uh, we're in person here, we are recording it. So if you're going to speak, uh, well, I'll ask you to come up to the table here and turn the mic on uh, so that uh, if your mic is not on, then you're not recorded. And that we are not being live broadcast and so there's no interaction with the, with the public and that the interaction is everybody that's here tonight. So uh, welcome to our meeting. We called it to order. Um, emergency exits in the unlikely event that we've got to vacate uh, this room here uh, off here to your left or behind you are the emergency exits to uh, committee members declarations of pecuniary interest you can make them now or uh, at any point during the meeting seeing none i'm going to move along uh point number four approval of the agenda uh, any uh, corrections, comments about it? And if not, can I have somebody move that, please? Moved by Corinne, seconded by Dave Carbert. Uh, any objections to that? Seeing none, our agenda is approved. Moving right along, bear with me. Uh, approval of our minutes, our last session, 03 of 2024. Uh, which was Thursday, May 23rd. Uh, committee members, any questions, comments, corrections? Uh, and that, seeing that, somebody move to approve these minutes, please. Moved by Jerry Reed, seconded by Dave Carbert. And any objections to that? Seeing none, thank you. Uh, minutes are approved. Uh, last one before we get to uh, the real business of tonight's meeting. Uh, all of our uh, Committee of Adjustment meetings, the Committee of Adjustment is a quasi-judicial uh, body, and we rule on um, uh, severances, uh, consent applications, and that anything up to uh, a zoning bylaw amendment, uh, we don't do those, that's uh, uh, something the council does. Uh, but uh, to my point here, because we're a public meeting, uh, we always have a public question period. So uh, if anybody in the public uh, questions other than that, those relating to the application, if there's any questions, seeing none, thank you. Moving right along. And now to, uh, to the business tonight. Uh, I'm going to read this out. Uh, it, it is online, it's on the website and that the uh, residents can read it, but for the sake of having a recorded uh, version of tonight's meeting, uh, I'll read all of this out. Uh, this is consent application for severance at 994522 Mono Agila Town Line. Uh, and uh, this is uh, for tonight, B B02 of 2024. That's the, uh, the number of this application. The applicant, Application seeks consent to create one new lot on the subject lands, municipally known as 994522 Mono Agila Town Line, located approximately 600 meters south of the 20th side road on the west side of the Mono Agila Town Line. The new lot would be 95.71 meters in width and 147. Point Two, two meters in depth and an, acre, an area of approximately 1.39 hectares or 3.44 acres. The proposed severed lot is intended to be used primarily for residential purposes. The subject property is zoned Rural A and Environmental Protection Zone EP and is also regulated by the Nottawasaga Valley Conservation Authority. However, the proposed severed lot is not located within the regula regulated boundaries. Uh, the subject property is on the Town of Mono's Municipal Heritage Register and specifically the Ontario Farmhouse Barn and Outbuildings. So that's the introduction to uh, our application here tonight. 
we have uh, from our planning consultant, Alexander Planning, uh, a planning report uh, with a recommendation on this. Uh, at this point, I'm going to turn this over to our CAO, uh, uh, Mike Dunmore. Mike, do you have anything more to add to um, Alexander Planning's uh, report, please? Um, thanks, Chair McRae. So um, as noted, uh, uh, Timothy Rainey and Re Re Rita Dixon are in the audience tonight. Thank uh, you. Should you have any questions following this? But uh, generally the planning uh, report goes on to elaborate from the planning opinion that was provided by the applicant, um, which is a nice starting document for uh, uh, for residents to ensure they're in line with their application. Um, it has a small history of the consent activity. Um, the committee may realize that the Wesley Cemetery has been severed off the top northeast quadrant of the property. That's uh, now abandoned and maintained by the town of Mono, and it does not uh, factor into the available severances from this property. And a further uh, severance of a rural residential lot was uh, was taken off the southeast quadrant of the property um, with the date uh, at, uh, unknown at this time. Um, it was circulated as as to eight for agency comments. The Town of Mono Heritage Advisory Committee advised that the the house uh, was uh, was not designated, uh, but it's on the uh, retained portion and does not uh, factor into the severance application tonight. The uh, MVCA had uh, had no concerns with the application, as it is as noted by the chair. Uh, the application is outside of the EP zone, and Mono Public Works is uh, is uh, setting some typical road widening uh, uh, requirements and bringing the uh, existing and future entrances into uh, into compliance with policy. Um, the application. Uh, Looked at the provincial policy statement, the uh, provincial growth plan, the Dufferin County official plan, the Town of Mono official plan, <clears throat> Town of Mono zoning bylaw, and the land use planning analysis provided by Deborah Alexander um, had a summary of the following uh, items that the uh, application conforms with relevant policies of the growth plan, the county and town's official plan. It's not anticipated to adversely affect surrounding lands, appropriately protects nearby natural heritage features and preserves the existing farm operation, would not require any minor variances related to lot area and frontage, requires the proposed severed lot to secure individual approved driveway access, and would require any new building on the new lot if approved to be subject to development charges. To, would, would let me reread re that one. Would require any new building of on the new lot, if approved tonight, to be subject to development charges, among other requirements leading up to building permit review. Um, in view of the foregoing, the consent application B0224 as proposed is considered to conform with po the policy framework of the provincial policy statement and relevant provincial and municipal policies respecting rural residential land division. Um, I'll stop there, Chair McRae, um, short of the res recommendation, uh, subject to the committee having a discussion and or seeking uh, questions of the applicant. Very good, uh, thank you. Uh, at this point, uh, it's your opportunity, uh, applicant, uh, uh, if there's anything else that you want to add to, uh, to what uh, Mike just said or any other comments and that. If you want, uh, come forward here and turn on the mic. If not, you don't have to. If there's nothing more to add, then that's okay. okay. Very good, thank you. Um, at this point in time also, uh, because it's a public meeting, uh, if there's anybody else, you're all the applicants, so there is no other public here. But uh, if there was public here, this would be their opportunity to ask questions or comments. And seeing none, uh, we can move on to the committee then. So uh, questions, comments from uh, committee members uh, to the applicant or the uh, plan, Mike uh, Dunmore there. Corinne, let's start with you, please. 
Yeah, sure. Uh, I drove past the property. I, I did see it and uh, I have absolutely no questions and I have no issues with this application. Thank you. Uh, Jerry, please. I, I have a couple of questions. Uh, the first one is, how long have you owned the property? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Th thank you. Yeah. yeah you're, you're doing a better job than I am. <laughs> Whatever either, one. either of them. Yeah. Push the push the button there, and it should light up uh, huh. red. There you go. We've owned it since 2003. Okay. The only reason I, I asked that is we've got a five-year policy on it that you have to own it for five years before you can take lots off it. So that's okay. the reason I asked that. Yeah. yeah, for sure. And the only other comment I have is that the letter we got this afternoon from, uh, I guess it was a Mr. Murphy, in regards to uh, two lots and two lots across the road from it, one thing or another was well taken. I think we, uh, we've we got to be, because if we create a hamlet, then we're into another a whole other uh, situation. But you're, other than you're, that. You're speaking of the two lots off uh, Somerville's uh, yeah, property. I, yeah. Two one, a, acre, two one acre lots. Yeah, and apparently yeah. there's two more being proposed through Agila Township. So south on the south east corner of that Tangerie side road. That That's the Somerville yeah, yeah, property. Yeah, so. Well, anyway, that's there's nothing we can do about that. Well, look, Mr. Murphy sent his letter in, um, and that, but it really has nothing, in my opinion, has nothing to do with this application. Oh, not particularly. No, no. not not at all. So no. um, we re no. we will receive Mr. Murphy's letter, mm -hmm. uh, but beyond that, we're dealing with this application in mono. So yeah, yeah. Anyway, so that's all I have. Thank you, Jerry. Uh, Eric, please. Uh, no, I have no questions. Thank you, and uh, Dave. I have no questions. Thank you. Uh, and I have no uh, questions or objections either, and uh, happy to support this. Um, so, chair goes last. There we go. Uh, committee members, any further discussion about this? Seeing none, can I have a motion, please, Eric? Yeah, I'll uh, move that. Um... Eric, I talk close, more into it. Sorry, these mics. Got my need... light on. What more do you want? Well, well, I want you. I want you close. <laughs> I don't do that. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, I, I move that the uh, committee uh, approve the consent application B02/24, subject to the conditions set out in the report from Deborah Alexander, dated June 27th, 2004. The four conditions that she included in her in her um opinion very good uh, seconder for that please seconded by corinne pollard and uh, any objections seeing none your application is approved it it thank it, it can be that easy thank you <laughs> when you do things right yeah you're welcome thank you thank you for uh, for taking the time to come out tonight. It means a lot when the applicant does come. So that that's it. Thank Yeah, yes, yeah, come on, come on up here, sit down and turn the, the mic on. So um and if I can't answer it then we're we'll get staff too. Sure. So sorry, thanks, you're, thanks you're, for you're my name's uh Michael and that's uh, my mother and my stepfather. Hey, very good. Um I was just asking about one of the conditions for the uh the levy that was included. Yes. Uh, how do we, um, who organizes the appraisal and how do we come up with that number? Uh, Mike, I'm going to need your help on, on that, please. It, it is a, a standard uh, uh, clause condition, okay. uh, Town of Mono Parkland Levy bylaw. So, um, Mike, I'll... So the, um, so the appraisal is set, sorry, the, the levy that is, is set is imposed in the Planning Act. And it's further supported by a council bylaw, 2003-41, uh, as amended by 2024-10. Um, that's where the information that you're uh, you're seeing in your conditions are coming from. And the appraisal is organized by yourself, and it's submitted to our treasurer treasurer uh, for approval. Okay. Um, and there's there's obviously no no negotiation on that. The the, the uh, condition? Yeah. No, okay. no, it, no. It, okay. it is a town of Mono uh, bylaw. Okay. Uh, 
uh, and uh, all, all of these applications it, have it applied to them. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. But yep. you can you just go and get, you realize where you can get that, a real estate agent or two real estate agents? Yeah. No? Appraisal. Formal company. appraisal. Okay. Okay. So yeah. just look up a licensed appraisal. appraisal. Okay. Google it, and there are local companies that will come up. And There's five or six local. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. Hey, very good. Uh, I mean, any other questions? By all means, contact uh, the town if, for any other clarification. But I, I hope that that helps. Very good. You're welcome. Thank you. Uh, with that, go home. Have a beer. <laughs> Enjoy the evening. <laughs> Thank you. Ah. <laughs> oh, wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Well, uh, thank thank you for sharing that. It's it's always nice when uh, what we do here benefits residents. I don't even know what the score they're gonna get to, but chicken, you're already naming chicken bingo. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Have, have have fun. Yeah. <laughs> have a good thank night. Okay. Very good. That's uh, simple and straightforward. Um, you know, Mike, you, maybe you and I can talk about this another time, but I, I'm certain an application like this that, you know, over the years we've had lots of them and you, you know, you really could rubber stamp them. Um, and I'm trying to remember uh, whether Dave Trotman said something about this or whether I dreamt it up that uh, somebody somewhere was working on something whereby a simple application like this that that is not um, you know uh, objected to that someone like a director of planning could could approve rather than bringing it to a committee of adjustment meeting and did I dream that up okay okay maybe maybe that's what what you're you're providing a good opportunity for residents to show up in person yeah. and and uh, while you you may not always get them in writing you you would avoid that opportunity for residents to speak to it for yeah. sure and but, and, uh, and and yeah that that would not be right yeah, too it's a good process it, yeah uh, good it's a, it's a, next week uh, next meeting you'll have two applications so it'll be a, a little uh, we'll keep you here longer yeah well uh, i mean for years uh, you know, oftentimes at these meetings we could have uh, remember the uh, three or four or five of these things and they were scheduled 10 minutes apart you know is it we're get we're getting there and uh, as you can see the the notices are coming out nice and early and uh, and we're trying to uh, um, satisfy the applicants as well as uh, if we can hold an application uh, to to make a to make a meeting uh, more uh, more Fulsome for you for the committee. We'll try that, right? No, the, the, no. This is this is good, and um, uh, thank you, uh, committee members, for coming out in person and supporting uh, you know, our our plan to have in-person meetings here. That's great. Um, unfinished business, we've got none. Uh, I'm going to ask Simi next time to add another line here. Other business, and that would have been what I just uh, talked about there. Uh, before we adjourn, I did want to uh, compliment staff. Uh, uh, Simi and, and uh, Mike have been working very hard. Uh, I think we got our our packages here complete uh, as early as we've ever had them, uh, and uh, you know it's what uh, we've been wanting for a long time. So thank you for for that uh, effort. It, it's great if we can. We keep that up. It also gives the public uh, proper notice of, of, of what we're doing here. Uh, so there's that. Um, thanks, staff. Thanks, members, for coming out on a nice night like this. And anybody got anything else? Uh, I could ramble on. You know me. <laughs> no? 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 Very good. Uh, we have a, a motion to adjourn. I guess Dave, Dave Carver just did and seconded by Corinne Pollard and nobody's objecting to it. 
So, uh, Simi, thanks for your uh, work remotely here. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how uh, we're working on this to uh, uh, and make sure that these meetings are recorded for residents to, to look at. So, Simi, whatever you got to do to turn this off, I'll let you do it. <laughs>